Hi Aries, welcome back. So Aries, this is your mid-October check-in, um, just to see how things are going, what the energies are like around you during this time frame. Um, wow, okay, Aries got something to say today. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first card you have out is Ascendant. So some of you, this will be Aries, maybe your placement in your sun, moon, or rising in particular, okay? Um, with that card out and then the card of Pluto. Holy cow, that makes sense That's why the cards jumped out. So a lot of transformations that may change your outlook, you know, to some degree or another. Pluto is quite an erratic type of energy and we have a full moon coming up in Aries. So that makes perfect sense. Um, it it kind of brings this it brings uh, cycles to an end. It's a rebirth energy. It's a transformation energy. Um, it's kind of like a clearing out the old, bringing in the new. Um, it's an intense energy, so I'm not going to lie to you. It does talk about extremes. You know, you might be <laughs> experiencing one extreme and then the other, like high emotions and then low emotions and just like, you know, bouncing back and forth between the two during this time period. Um, be careful not to go into the darker side of Pluto, which can be obsession and, you know, um, like I said, extremes, suspicion, you know, paranoia, things like that, you know, cause when things get a little bit erratic, whether internally or externally, it's easy to get like paranoid, like, Ugh, I don't even know, <laughs> you know, like what to expect. Um, and like, you know, I said, some of you, it could be an, on an internal level, you could be like kind of all over the map a little bit during this time frame. Interesting energy. And as soon as I started your reading, because I just got done with Scorpio's reading, the energy shifted totally. Like Scorpio's was a much calmer vibe. And then Aries, I got to yours and I feel like, uh, like a feral cat or something like, <laughs> You know, like I'm ready to pounce, you know, that's how I feel like my energy is bursting right now. Um, and then with, the, I know you're like that all the time, Aries, but particularly with Pluto here. <laughs> so with the ascendant next to it, I feel that Aries, um, you know, watch your attitude during this time period, but it's all about, you know, Expressing your point of view, your worldview, um, what is your mission statement, expressing who you are, you know, um, it's about our outlook on life and self and where do we fall within that. It talks about um, your approach to people and things. It also talks about body image, so some of you might be a little, um, I had the word and then it left. I don't know. Something to do with body image. If it comes back to me, I'll tell you. Sorry. <laughs> so, like I said, intense energy. I think things are shifting and changing, you know, on a subconscious, internal level for most of you because the way that you view self, the way that you view the world around you, um, is, is in desperate need of like a makeover or some sort of transformation or change. And don't forget too that the way you view others is often how we view ourselves. You know, how we feel internally is often mirrored back to us in the external, right? And with the moon card as the first card out, I feel like that's that deep knowing of that. That's that intuitive energy, you know, that mirror effect, like, it, you know, seeing the obvious uh, connection between like your mood and then other people's moods around you and how we affect each other like that and, and in an essence shape our own reality. Okay, that's, that's like the message I'm feeling. I think I got the similar message in your last weekly reading. So go check that out if you didn't see that in my last live. Five of Pentacles here. So this is recent past present energy. Um, feeling a little bit isolated, you know, this is kind of like, I, I feel this is past. I don't want it. Well, some of you, it is present because I really wanted to say that, but <laughs> it's, um, it's, 
It's like, I don't know. That's what it is. I don't know. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, words are leaving me, you know? Or, like, I feel like there was, like, an inner, like, uncertainty going on, you know? And that's the part of you that's changing, you know? Becoming more self-assured of who you are. Um, because I think, like, internally, it's like, I don't even... I'm not really sure, you know, and that's so an Aries like Aries is usually very certain, or at least you appear certain to other people. Um, but I feel, you know, internally, some of you have really been grappling with the fact that you feel like I'm actually really not sure. I kind of feel like I don't fit in anywhere, like a like a loner vibe type energy, like not feeling. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> um, and I think some of you have kind of kept your guard up here, you know, not really allowing people in, um, you know, but there's a new perspective coming. There's a change in that. The hanged man energy is like seeing things from a different point of view. And that's literally what this card was about. So you see how the messages are tying in together. This is about getting a different point of view. Um, you know, on self and the role you want to play in the world. So I feel, you know, some people, um, nice. Okay. The, the message I'm getting is kind of similar to a message that I got for Scorpio during the last round of readings, not the new ones, the last ones. And it was like realizing that we are nothing but playing a role in life. And you could play any role that you want. You could play the sarcastic hard worker. You could play, you know, the kind go-getter. You could play the angry, bitter person. And I think people don't realize that they have that much control. They think like they're just kind of walking through life and life is happening to them and they don't have like any ability to change that and then they're just constantly reacting to it but that's not actually true um you have a conscious choice in how you handle life how you handle emotions what you allow in your life what you strive for what you don't who you put yourself around who you don't and getting back in the driver's seat is like so important during this time frame. And I feel like that's why Pluto's here to kind of shake things up, you know, like a snow globe. And then when the snow settles, <laughs> when the dust settles, um, then there's this new you, this new beginning. And more confidence here, I feel, with the Six of Wands here. This is your card up in the upright. This is the more innocent side of Aries, the one that's willing to really put themselves out there, you know, say yes more and no less, um, you know, uh, taking chances, taking chances and it panning out, it panning out towards the end of this time period, getting that attention. You know, I feel like you're really putting yourself out there and maybe it was risky. You know, maybe you didn't know what to, to expect, um, you know, but it's like changing your outlook on life. This is deep, Aries. This is deep. And feeling like, okay, I overcame that, you know, and this is who I choose to be moving forward, putting yourself in the control, in the driver's seat, like I said, and then getting emotional satisfaction out of it, the Nine of Cups. So I love that. I think, I, I would love to say this applies to career or love, family, but I feel like this is much deeper than that. I think that this has like fingers in all of those areas that I just uh, named off. I feel like this is something that is coming from internal to the external, and it's kind of touching on every point of your life, you know, changing your outlook, changing your outlook on self, on others, and getting back control of that, and then feeling emotionally satisfied with it. You know, opening yourself up again. I like it. <laughs> Go ahead, Aries. You deserve it. <laughs> 
All right, so if you were only interested in you and your energy and what you're dealing with, that's where the reading ends for you. If you have someone in specific that you're dealing with during this time period and you'd like to know what's going on with that person, this is where the reading continues for you. So person you are dealing with, ah, they want to talk to, okay. Um, they're at the nine of wands. So I feel like this person is kind of like, you know, watching you go through all of these changes and I don't feel like they really know <laughs> what to think about it, you know? I feel like they're a little bit on the fence. Um, it's kind of like, like a standoffish type vibe where I feel like this person's like observing. They're in a very observatory type of energy during this time frame um, or recent past. Okay, it's coming into this time frame. Um, I feel like they kind of had their defenses up as well, but I think that they are trying to put the focus on the day-to-day, -day, the things they can control. Um, they may be very focused too on like their home environment or career manifesting um, there. I think this person is in a cooperative energy and the fact that they want to work on things or work on self and build. Um, there's really a spotlight being shown, I feel, on you during this time period. You know, this person is wanting to start over in their own right, wanting to plant some new seeds here, but needing cooperation. Uh, in order to do that, whether that's from you or from other people, you know, I feel like this person is getting clarity over themselves, um, getting some sort of truth or enlightenment here, um, and yeah, and then the sun card, so, you know, this person's kind of going through, I have no idea where this I just heard Dark Night of the Soul. I have zero cards out that would indicate somebody's going through a Dark Night of the Soul, but that's what came to mind. And then I looked down this, the Five of Swords. Um, this person has had some sort of defeat, you know, and they're they're kind of re-looking at the situation, maybe distancing themselves or have distanced themselves, put up their walls, kind of. Uh, I heard task at hand, put their brain at the ta on the task at hand you know, trying to uh, make sure that they're secure, that they're, you know, taken care of. Um, I feel like this person is in this energy in October wanting, of wanting to have, an, you know, a new opportunity or, or start planting seeds that they will, that will help them to be more stable. Um, this person definitely has gotten some clarity. They're searching for their happiness here. Um, you know, I feel that this person is gaining enlightenment as to where their happiness lies, really, truly lies in life, um, with the sun card here. So what's this truth about? Yeah, wrapping up chapters and cycles in their own life. I think that this person is having some major changes, shifts. Uh, that are changing their point of view, the way they see themselves, the way they see you. Um, I think this person wants to find that innocent child in them again, or is tapping into that. A lot of uh, childlike energy here. Um, I feel like this person is heavily focused too on like trying to figure out either work or finances, or you know, trying to build that up during this time frame. Um, I think that this person, oh yeah, I have a song in my head. Is that Mariah Carey? Gonna make it happen, oh yeah. <laughs> if you believe in yourself enough and know what you know, you're gonna make it happen, make it happen. <laughs> Gotta love some good old 90s Mariah. Um, that could be for you or this person, I don't know. That could be for you or this person. Yeah, this person is trying to figure out, uh, I think, their finances during this time period. Quite honestly, I think they're juggling a lot. Like, do I put my energy here? Do I put my energy there? They're just trying to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
but you must be strong, baby, just hold on. You never find the answers if you throw your life away. I used to feel the way you do, but I had to keep on going, never knowing. I could make it through the fight. I held on to my faith. I struggled and I prayed. And now I found my way. Excuse me for singing that whole song. <laughs> you can't cut Mariah off, but I felt that song, that piece of that song was really pertinent. Basically, in that song, Mariah Carey. Uh, and I feel this is you, whether you're male or female, is telling another person, like, listen, you got to believe in yourself enough and know what you know, and you're going to make it happen. Like, I feel that you have been through a lot. And you may be telling someone else during this time frame that, you know, hey, I've been there, did that, you're going to come out of it, I'm going to come out of it. Like, you just got to keep pushing, you know what I'm saying? Keep moving. This person, I remember I felt Dark Knight of the Soul, and then I didn't have any cards, and then one popped out. I think that there's heartache here at the heart of this uh, person's journey, and I feel that... <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like this person needs to know, whether you're telling them or not, that they got to make it happen. But they got to make it happen on their own. Like they got to want it enough to push it through by themselves. Why? Because Aries, I feel that you're ready for your next step. You're ready for your new beginning. And you, you really don't have time or won't have time during this time period to be like dragging someone along with you. It's just kind of like... I got to cut the cord. You can do this, you know, because I'm doing it. <laughs> you know, emperor at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Regaining your control over self. Looking at new opportunities. I love this, Aries. So sorry. I, ba I very badly saying, um, <laughs> right, Gary, forgive me. And don't put hate comments in, in my chat, but. I love you so much. And let me tell you what zodiac signs you might be dealing with. At the bottom of the deck, you had uh, the star card. Some of you, Aquarius. Uh, others, Leo. Um, could be another Aries. Could be a Pisces. Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm going to go listen to that song now because it's stuck in my head. So those could be placements in your chart or the person's chart you're dealing with. Could be Leo, Sag. Um, and then, like I said, I felt Scorpio energy as well earlier. Those could be placements in your chart or the person's chart you're dealing with. going to be different for all of you. Don't forget to check out my social media accounts, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and my other YouTube, which is just a barrage of live chats with me if you would like to subscribe all the links are down below as well as my merchandise check it out love you so much wishing you the best thank you aries till next time namaste bye